Welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to do the backend work on our application. So go into main activity. The first thing that we need to do over here is to add bottom navigation view. So bottom navigation view, object, bottom navigation view. And to initialize it, I'm going to create a private method. Private wide initialize objects. Let me surround this with try catch block. And in case we get any exception, I'm going to get that exception. And inside this, I'm going to call bottom navigation view it would equal to find view by ID R dot ID bottom navigation view. No, next step is to go over here and create the object of our sign up fragment, object sign up fragment, and sign in fragment. And that would object of sign in fragment now let me initialize these two object sign up fragment equal to new sign in fragment okay actually this is sign up fragment so this should be sign up fragment and object sign in fragment should equal to new sign in fragment okay no next step let's call this method into on create initialize objects after that i'm going to set on item click listener on the object bottom navigation view dot set on navigation item selector listener new on navigation item selector listener and here i'm going to remove it for the timing and using the switch to check which item has been clicked that would be menu item dot get item id and if r dot id would equal to item sign up then we will return true and if case r dot id item sign in then we will return true as well and default we should return false okay now to change the fragments first thing that we need to do go over here into your app activity underscore main and here i'm going to create a relative layout with match parent match parent and now let me provide the id and i'm going to have the id as a container and this should always be above of our bottom navigation view okay go back over here into activity underscore main and inside this here I'm going to create a separate method that will actually change the fragments so I'm going to name it replace fragments this will take a fragment object object fragment and let me surround this with try catch block as well Here we are going to get the object of fragment transactions. Object fragment transactions would equal to get support fragment dot begin transaction. After that, object fragment transactions dot replace what we want to replace the container that is id container, and after that, what we want to replace inside it is object fragment. Okay. And before closing it, just call the method commit. And now, the first thing you do want to do over here is to go over here and call this method, which is replace fragment. And here, I'm going to pass the object of sign up fragment. And inside this, again, let me call the replace fragment method. And inside this, I'm going to call sign in fragment. Okay. Now go over here after the initialize object call the replace fragment method and here we have to pass the object sign up fragment so that when user will first open the application it should come up with the sign up fragment okay so that's it before running the application let me go into a uh, fragment sign up and let me change the background color of this fragment so that we can differentiate when we will run the application so Android color 
torque okay so now just click on this icon and run the application you can choose whatever emulator you have installed on your machine and click over here and it will run the application accordingly so guys our application is up and running and as you can see the sign of fragment has already been here and if i click over here it has been changed to our sign in fragment so that's it for this part in the coming part we are going to work on the design of our sign up and sign in fragment okay and in after that we will be working on our user authentication with the help of firebase authentication okay so see you guys in the next video